Hello and welcome to Cruising with E-Rider. On today's show, we're going to start off at the first annual Butler Township Cruise Inn. And after that, it's off to Buckeye Powder Coating, where we're going to learn the ins and outs of powder coating. So stay tuned for that and more on Cruising with E-Rider. Dick, tell me about this Ford, man. Uh, it's 302, Ford 30 over. Uh, got small cam and stuff in it, uh, aluminum highlights and stuff. Uh, it's got a little over 100,000 miles, but the motor's fresh. Okay, you don't see a lot of these ranch shows, man. No, no. This, this was a uh, barn find. Uh, well, I call it a barn find, but there's a guy that owned it. Uh, he was in his 80s, and he didn't have a garage, so he parked it in the barn. Oh, man. They rusted up bad. A lot of them got in yeah. bad shape. Yeah, I, I had guys when I first got it kept checking the tailgates and stuff. This thing's solid. Yeah, because man, the tailgates rusted off of them, the yeah. floorboards rusted out of them. Yeah. I had a 72. It's one of the reasons I stopped. And I love mine, so. Well, this one is not a piece of car. I mean, yeah, it's got all the GT suspension and everything under it. Okay. Now, where'd you dig it up at? I mean, what, where at? Locally? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's where it came from. Yeah. All right, so an Ohio car in that good yeah. shape. Uh, yeah, but see, he never hardly ever comes like the day right. he, he was staying over in the ground in the Richmond and stuff. Okay. Over in that area, and they don't use as much salt as we No, do. they don't. And, all that. and it contributes to it. I mean, it did help it a lot. Beautiful, beautiful truck, man. I did come to find out that it's an unlimited after I had the interior changed and stuff. And then I come to find out it was an it was a unbadged limited. Uh, they made 406 of them and gave them one to every dealership, four dealership ah. in the U.S. Uh, as a going away present because it was the last year, 79. Was uh, ain't that terrible? And they were, they, these, you know, if you look at the pictures in Australia, they kept them going. Yeah, yeah, they're Falcons now. Yeah, uh, yeah, it made yeah. me mad, man. They had them, we didn't get them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you doing anything with it is, or is it just driving now? Oh, it's just driving now. Well. They're never done. I mean, last last winter I got the hood louvered, and oh, okay. every year I'm doing something else to it. Right. I'm thinking about maybe going to headers and stuff on it. I mean, just adds a little bit of more bling to it. Right, right. You know they're never done, man. Yeah. yeah we just keep working on them. Yeah. So where are you coming in from? Uh, Huber Heights. Okay, so not a terrible long way. No, no, just over the bridge. <laughs> All right, brother. Dry the wheels off of it. Enjoy it. And okay. thank you for being on Cruising with E-Rider. Okay, thank you. Now, Kelly, tell me about this bug you got. Um, it's a 1972 Super Beetle. Uh, originally, it was from Alaska, and ah. uh, it made its way down to Ohio, and I purchased it uh, back in about 96, 97, right? Ah, around. so you've had it a long time. Yes, I have. Good. 17 years. Okay, um, I see you've taken good care of it. Mm -hmm, yeah, it wasn't always in this condition. It was, uh, it had uh, lived in a field for a while. Nah, so, so you been, saved it. We saved it. That's and, even better. Yes, yeah, so we've uh, we've been taking it to some of the area shows this summer, last few summers, and we have a good time with it. So. All right, so now, now have you done any of the work to it? Um, my dad did all of the restoration work. Really? Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? For Pop, his please! Yeah, so, and then we, you know, I took it on when I had a place of my own so uh, my husband now he is the caretaker the so caretaker of the, of the 72 I owned a 72 bug and loved it yes they're wonderful little cars yeah it's something that you cannot forget the feeling of the smell of the mm -hmm. sound of now, now do you drive you don't drive in the winter do you no not at all no no I was going to say because they're a little prone especially the running panels and stuff they're a little prone to rust around there yes yes um, and now though when I when I bought it it had a gas heater in it oh. that ran off the yeah. gas tank. Ah. And then yeah. it also came with some snow tires, which I never put on it. <laughs> you know, these cars were actually good in the snow. Mine, I, I drove mine when I was in high school, and it was a little tank. Yeah. You yeah. know, they're they're actually not bad little snow cars. Yeah. So. so it's done. You're not going to do anything to it? No, we have a little bit. Of, like, I'm going to get some new interior panels. Um, we're talking about maybe lowering it a little bit in the front because okay. it's a Super Beetle. It's a little nosy. So it's, it sets it's a, a sets a little high. Yeah, yeah that's so. back to that snow stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Where, where, where are you coming in from? We're from Troy. 
Okay, so not a terrible long way. No, not at all. It's a good all time. right, Great I, you, day. you gonna pass it down to your kids and everything, keeping the family? Oh yes, I have a little daughter who's six years old, and she's there's no way we're gonna Oh God, she's got ten years ago. Already loves the bug. Yes. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys for being on cruising with E Rider and bringing this wonderful little bug out to the awesome. show. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. John, this bike's got a lot of motor, man. Yes, it does. Tell me about this thing. Is this is that factory? Yes, it's a factory Honda 79 CBX, uh, six cylinders, six carburetors, and 24 valves. Jesus. Four overhead cams. Now, what year just come out in? 79. Okay, so this had to be really f super fast yes. in the day. Yes, it was back in the day it was. You know. Yes. Now, now, uh, how fast have you had it? I've had that's about 120. Yeah. I was capable of doing 150, but uh, that's 120 was enough. Yeah, that's scary. It is. That's enough. You go 100 mile an hour on a bike, man, and it's <laughs> scary as it can be because it's Very barely true. on the road. Right. Okay, so now you've had it since it was new? Uh, I'm the second owner of it. Actually, I bought this about 15 years ago. Okay. So. Yeah, it's probably got a lot of collector's value because you don't see any of them. No, we don't. You know? They're, they're up there in price, but for a this one's been heavily modified. It's not a stalker. So now, what have you done to it? Um, All right, see, we're single side swing arm. Number 58 right. and number 57 uh, to come to the registration. Also, shock suspension. Uh, also, lower bars. If you have received and, uh, a red fireman's hat, after market rims off of a CBR. First person to bring a okay. fireman's yeah. so hat. So quite a few modifications. It's a, it's a, booth, a we'll we'll Honda parts, but off, it, it's a mix, of, of, mix and mingle of different bikes. Now, was that for yeah. control or speed? Uh, I just wanted a custom. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so, 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 are you going to do anything else to it? Is it done? It's as is, and it's just, I, I need no more. You don't need much more, need, man. No, good nothing. Lord. Now, is it good on the freeway and stuff? I mean, does it, it ride fine. good? It drives just fine, but that mono, the monoshock suspension and the smaller wheels and the better brake, yes, it rides better. I would think so. That's what yes. I think. Yes. All right, it's, so a mixture of, it's a mixture of old and new. All right, so, so where, are you, where are you coming in from? Vandalia. Oh, so not terrible long way at all, man. Really? Hey, do you drive it a lot? Yes. Try to. I'm okay. not, I, I don't, my endorsement, I do not have an insurance I do not have, so therefore, <laughs> minimal. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Right. You just kind of <laughs> drive it around for fun. A fun around town, yes. All right, man. And occasionally a, a highway blast. Right, of course. <laughs> just to blow the carbon out. Clean the carbs out. Clean the carbs out. Yes. That's right, man. Well, dude, thank you for bringing this wonderful little bike out to the show and to be on cruising with the e right. Happy cruising with the e rider. Thanks, man. Peace out. There's a guy in green down there parking it, and they come back for registration right here. We're down here at Buckeye Powder Coating with Scott. Scott, man, tell me about the business and what you guys do. Well, we're a powder coating shop. We do uh, just about anything. We try to make from anything from nuts and bolts down to large frames. So now what got you started powder coating, man? Well, I've always been a painter. I started out in auto collision, and then I worked at a few different powder coating companies, mm -hmm. and I've always wanted to own my own business. Ah! So, and here I am. So is it hard? I mean, is, is uh, you know, you, you see these guys who, who get these like whole frames powder coated and stuff and you wonder, how do you do it? Well, first you have to strip it all down to bare metal. That's the best way to do it. Strip it all down and then from there you can wash it, powder coat it, and then you can put it in the oven. Okay, so you gotta bake that stuff? Yes. So if I was gonna powder coat a whole car, I'd have to bake the whole car. Well, you could do the whole car. Anything that melt has to come off. Okay. You're in about 400 degrees at the in the oven. So like the shell. You, yeah, you, you could do the shell. Wouldn't that be interesting? Now, you ever done anything that big? Oh yeah. I've, Have you? I've done quite a bit of stuff. I've done cranes. Oh wow. Big frames. Okay. Motorcycle frames, just about anything really. Okay, so now, now where I met you at was uh, over at uh, Sporty's Trikes and Bikes, one of our sponsors. Now, now, do you do a lot of their frames and stuff for them? Actually, I do. I did their custom frame that's sitting out on the shelf. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a root beer color, and then I also did a lot of their motor parts for it. 
Okay. And then just their basic customer parts. Now, is it is it easy to tint this stuff? I mean, I've heard people say that you can basically get it about the same color as everything else. Well, I have a company that I can choose from 6,500 different colors. Really? So there's not just black when it comes to powder coat. Okay, so there's not just black, blue, red, orange. Nope. You can get it just about wow. any shade you're looking for. Okay. All right. So, so how much time are we looking at? I mean, is this going to take six months to get my bike done? or? No, no. I try to get everything. I give everybody a lead time on a week just just so it's okay on my part. Right. But uh, I try to get everything out within a couple of days. Now, do they have to have it specially prepped for you? No, no. They bring it in, just tear it all down. Say mm -hmm. you're doing a motorcycle frame. Right. You'll tear it all down, pull all the bearings and everything out. Right. And then bring it in, and I can take it from there. Hmm. Now, once it's done, is there like a, a, an impact rating, or is there some powder coating that's stronger or meant for some stuff that isn't meant for other stuff? Well, there is. You have textures. You have gloss, smooth. Um, just depends on what you're looking for and kind of lead you in the right direction. So if I had like an off-road vehicle, would that use a different powder coat than if I was going to go for like showroom stuff? Um, you can use, you could use either way. You could use showroom or you could use like a flatter black. Um, that, that, that'd be best for wear and tear. Okay. Or you could use like a textured black. That would look good on, uh, a lot of people do that on brush guards, things of that style. Okay, now I've got some deep rim steel old Corvette rims. Mm -hmm. Okay, the deep ones. And they're rusty. So if I was to bring it to you, I wouldn't have to sandblast myself or anything? No. Nope. We could do that all here. Yeah, because most time I heard you gotta, you know, gotta get all the sandblasting done, you gotta bring it to, to you guys already prepped. Nope, nope, not here. Oh, Try well, to that's do all nice. that in-house. Okay. Make it easy on everybody. Right. I like easy. So if I brought the four rims and I just dropped them off, I could have them like in a week or so later? Yep. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's right. All right, and you got a website? I'm working on a website. You better get you a website. You're going to be busy. I know. You got a Facebook page? I do. I do. All right, hit me with the Facebook page. It's Facebook uh, backslash Buckeye Powder Coating. Okay. All right. You got any of that other social media stuff, LinkedIn or Twitter um, or any of that stuff? Just Facebook for now. All right. Just Facebook. All right. So you got to get that website going. Yep. What's, your, what's your location your phone number, man? My location is Troy, Ohio at 614 South Crawford Street. Okay. And my phone number is 937-524-6797. So not hard to get to. Nope. Nope. All right. Now, man, when you get that website, remember, you, you've got to have a bunch of pictures and stuff. we we got to get that out. Oh, yeah. I, I have a lot on, my, on the Facebook page. I right. try to post at least once a week. Do you? Just to show the different variations of colors and wheels. And man, you should be posting every day. That Facebook stuff, they want no, you out there every day. I know. It. I know. I've done uh, little videos you can watch on there. Oh, good. So... Just All right, to see man. how it's applied and well dude thanks for having us down here uh, no problem. We always support local businesses and young guys trying to get a start so uh, we're going to show a little bit of what you do and uh... and that right there is uh, the root beer color that I put on Sporty's oh, is motorcycle it? frame man you know that does not look like powder coat that is all powder coat right there that looks that looks like a, a nice paint job that's how we try to make it look Hmm. And this is one of your smaller ovens? Yeah, this feel shut. Okay, so now we're back. Explain to me exactly what powder coat, because I thought powder coat was glass. No, it is not glass. It is uh, chopped up fine plastic. All right. And how you apply it is you have to have a special gun. Right. And here we have uh, a box feeding style gun. So what you'll do is open up the box and you'll stick this siphon tube down into the box powder. Okay. And then it'll run through, come through the hose, and it, this will charge the powder as it comes out of the gun, and it'll charge it so it sticks to the part. See, that's why I thought it was like metal powder or some kind of glass powder or something, because, yep. huh? See, you learn, that's why I love this show. We always learn something learn every something day. something new every day. So, so you're going to spray some of this stuff for us? Yes, we can. All right, man. We'll set it up for you. So then that's probably not as toxic as I would have thought it would have been. No, not at all. Not at all. You know, when we're, when we're at car shows talking and stuff, we don't really know about this stuff. But Right. You know. Right. It's actually a pretty common misconception on a lot about powder coat. Everybody thinks it's really thick, mm -hmm. and it's really not. If you look at the specs, it all calls for 
anywhere from two to five mils. So that's hardly paint. anything. Yeah, I mean that's about what you have on your car right now. Right. So it's yeah. not. It's not really thick, but it is more durable. It is the most durable color finish out there. Oh, it's a cr it's crazy durable. Yeah, it's it's more durable than uh, say an industrial finish or just uh we were your car. we were at sporties and he had an old frame around back that had been powder coated i guess several years ago that you had done for him right mm -hmm. and it was sitting around back he took a hammer and beat on the frame i wouldn't recommend that for everybody well this was just but, you know he was just trying to yeah. show me this is before when we was talking about you and he beat on it with the hammer yep and it didn't come off i was like well damn as long as it's applied right then right it'll it'll, it'll it, be it was durable. tougher than i thought it would be right right it is all right it is pretty durable well that's what we want man okay we get out and we get this stuff oh uh oh he's got him a james bond gun yep yep here's my james bond gun i'll actually go up and turn the boots on okay i've got the fan going so that this metal's just standard just sanded down ain't nothing special been done to it yeah yep. no weird primers Really? Do some of them call for a for like a base coat or something? Do some of them call for like a base coat or something? Um, this one does not call for a base coat. This is just uh, basically like a single stage paint. Right. You apply the paint and then you bake it, and that is it. Man, that is so nice. Yeah. I can't wait to see this. So it comes out. Out of the gun as a powder. That always helps, yeah. stroke to it, done it. Yep, that's all it is. Just a, a different style of paint. And that's it. That's it? That's it. That's the whole process? That is the whole process. Well, and then what you do, you take this whole cart. Right. And in this case, I'd put it in the small oven. Right. But if I had a bigger piece on here, I'd roll the whole cart into the oven. And this here is the large oven. Talking frames, fenders, hoods, deck lids. Oh my god, dude. Huh. So I can turn my car on its side and roll him right in there. Just about. Huh. So then that piece over there is going to look like the stuff you showed us over here in the other cabin. That's right. That's crazy. That's just a different color right there. Now, how long does it bake? For about 20 minutes, depending uh, on the thickness of the metal. Right. And uh, all that. And you don't got to polish, you don't got to wet sand, you don't got to do any weird stuff afterwards. That's it. As soon as it comes out of the oven, as long as it comes out of the oven nice, then that's, right. that's your finish right there. Oh, that is so sweet. That's right. All right, man. Give us give us the phone number and address one more time. It's 937-524-6797-614 South Crawford Street. All right. Over here, powder coating. over here in Troy, man. Troy, Ohio. All right, brother. We're going to make you busy. I hope so. All right, man. So. Keep cruising with E-Rider and Buckeye Powder Coating. Thank you.